NASA says its Wayfarer 1 test, the most distant human-made object known to man, is sending usable information to Earth again. In the universe, we have no idea what it is with the exception that we can evaluate it. Pilgrim 1, the renowned space test sent off by NASA more than four and a half years earlier, has recently sent back a message that has sent shockwaves through the scholarly community. Following its journey of nearly 14 billion miles from Earth, Pilgrim 1 has made a discovery so critical that it has changed the course of its mission, pivoting towards our planet. Yet what exactly could this disclosure be? Could it be proof of extraterrestrial life, a galactic anomaly, or something even more improbable? In this holding examination, we'll uncover these dazzling revelations. Adventurer 1 has recently made a terrifying discovery that led it to unexpectedly pivot towards Earth. The Pioneer Twins, if specific celestial events hadn't aligned, might never have left Earth. For this circumstance, the changing stars were the four largest planets in our planetary system. Nearly 40 years ago, these planets were aligning in a way that had last occurred during Thomas Jefferson's administration in the 19th century. This captivating planetary arrangement initially went largely unnoticed. The first individual to recognize its significance was Gary Flandro, a doctoral student in cosmology at the California Institute of Technology back in 1965. When space exploration was beginning, Flandro, working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, was tasked with determining the best method for sending a space probe to Jupiter or even farther away to Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using a simple pencil, he meticulously plotted the orbital paths of these giant planets and made a charming revelation. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets would align in such a way that they could be visited in a single mission. This plan meant that a spacecraft could use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot itself to the next, significantly reducing travel time. Flandro verified that this plan would cut the flight time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This planetary arrangement occurred only once every 175 years. To take advantage of this rare opportunity, a spacecraft would need to be launched by the mid-1970s. NASA seized this rare alignment and built two spacecraft for the journey, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These probes were sent on a groundbreaking mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Due to the arrangement of the planets and the visionary calculations of Gary Flandro, the launch of the Voyager twin probes on September 5, 1977, marked a truly remarkable event at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Voyager 1 began its historic journey into space, propelled by a powerful rocket known as Titan 3E or Centaur. Just 15 days later, Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977. Voyager 1 embarked on its grand adventure, starting its journey into the vast universe by following a shorter path. Their primary mission was to study the giant gas planets in our solar system, such as Jupiter and Saturn, along with their numerous moons. However, these brave space explorers surpassed all expectations, traveling far beyond their original targets and setting new records in space exploration. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 ventured into a region known as interstellar space, a completely uncharted area within our solar system. These pioneering spacecraft are now over 12 billion miles from us. Despite their immense distance, they continue to astonish researchers with the incredible discoveries they make out there. Most recently, they made a revelation so startling that it has shocked everyone. The Voyager twin probes have achieved several genuinely remarkable feats. Years ago, they explored the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Contrary to initial beliefs that these moons were dull and heavily cratered like our moon, they turned out to be dynamic worlds. Voyager 2 made history by being the first of the twins to fly by Uranus in 1986 and, just three years later, it zipped past Neptune, an achievement unmatched by any other spacecraft. As these probes continued their astonishing journey, NASA employed various clever strategies to ensure they remained operational. They deactivated non-essential components such as spare instruments and heaters to conserve power. This approach aimed to keep the spacecraft functional until at least 2030. For the dedicated scientists and engineers involved in this extraordinary mission from its inception, it's a mix of emotions. Their hard work has paid off, and when they thought the Voyager missions were nearing their end, a surprising discovery emerged from the depths of space. 
Voyager 1's discovery, data transmission, and revelations at the beginning of their remarkable journey were significant. The Voyager spacecraft stunned researchers by providing the first close-up views of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. These moons, initially thought to be dull and heavily cratered, turned out to be vibrant and active. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, just 546 days after its launch. Voyager 2, taking a slightly different route, arrived in July of the same year. Both spacecraft were equipped with VidCon cameras that used pre-owned channels to capture full-color images. Interestingly, they were designed to be very stable, rotating through space at a rate more than 100 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This ensured that the pictures they captured were clear and sharp. During their missions, the spacecraft took over 33,000 photos of Jupiter and its moons, each revealing new and fascinating details. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, was found to have a cracked icy surface estimated to be over 60 miles thick. As the spacecraft departed from the Jupiter system, they received a final boost in speed of 35,700 miles per hour from a gravitational slingshot, a crucial maneuver that propelled them toward interstellar space. At Saturn, the spacecraft passed through the planet's luminous rings, enduring numerous impacts from small dust particles before flying by Titan, a moon shrouded in an orange haze. Voyager 2 continued its solitary journey, reaching Uranus and Neptune in 1986. During its visit to Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons and added the planet to the list of worlds in our solar system with rings. However, Voyager 2's accomplishments were overshadowed by tragedy. Just four days after its closest approach to Uranus, the Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded shortly after launch, killing all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher from New Hampshire who was set to become the first civilian in space. Three years later, as Voyager 2 zoomed over Neptune's striking blue methane sky, it encountered the fastest winds recorded on any planet in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was found to be one of the coldest places in our solar neighborhood, with surface temperatures plunging to an astonishing minus 235 degrees Fahrenheit. The moon's icy volcanoes were another astonishing discovery erupting nitrogen gas and fine particles up to five miles into its atmosphere. After Voyager 2's mesmerizing images of Neptune and its moons, both spacecraft were set to shut down their cameras, marking the end of their primary mission. However, space scientist Carl Sagan, a member of the mission's imaging team, intervened. Despite the excellent mission nearing its conclusion, NASA extended the mission with hopes that the probes would continue their journey into interstellar space. Renamed the Voyager Interstellar Mission, the spacecraft were set to continue their voyage into the unknown. Sagan convinced NASA to allow Voyager 1 to take one final series of pictures on Valentine's Day in 1990. The spacecraft turned its cameras back towards the inner solar system and captured 60 final images. One of these pictures, famously referred to by Carl Sagan as the pale blue dot, shows Earth from an immense distance of 3.8 billion miles. In the image, Earth appears as a tiny speck, barely visible against the vastness of space, illuminated by a faint ray of sunlight reflected off the camera's optics. We have learned so much about the planets and moons in our solar system. It's exciting to see how extraordinary even those that seem distant and faint can be. Voyager's journey past the heliosphere in August 2012 marked an incredible achievement. As it ventured beyond the heliosphere, a vast region of charged particles emitted by the sun. Voyager 1's remarkable accomplishment became widely known the following year when a paper was published in the journal Science. It's historic to share Voyager 1's discovery. The spacecraft's plasma wave instrument detected a significant solar wind event between April 9th and May 22nd, 2013. The Voyager missions represent a monumental chapter in the history of space exploration not only due to their technical achievements but also because of their broader implications for humanity's place in the cosmos. Beyond the immediate discoveries of planetary science, the Voyager spacecraft have offered profound insights into the nature of our solar system and its boundaries. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continued their journey, they ventured into regions previously unknown to science. The exploration of the heliopause, 
the boundary where the solar wind's strength diminishes and the interstellar medium begins, provided critical data on the interaction between the solar and interstellar environments. This region acts as a shield, protecting our solar system from cosmic rays and other high-energy particles that permeate interstellar space. Understanding this boundary is crucial for comprehending how our solar system interacts with its galactic environment and the broader universe. The Voyager spacecraft also contributed to our knowledge of cosmic radiation. By measuring the intensity and distribution of cosmic rays, scientists gained insights into the energy and composition of these high-energy particles. This data is essential for understanding the health risks to astronauts traveling beyond Earth's magnetosphere and the potential for cosmic radiation to influence planetary atmospheres and climates. Another significant achievement of the Voyager missions was their contribution to the field of plasma physics. By studying the plasma waves and their interactions with the solar wind, the spacecraft provided valuable information on how plasma behaves in different regions of space. This research has implications for understanding space weather, which affects satellite communications, navigation systems, and even power grids on Earth. Voyager 1's entry into interstellar space was particularly noteworthy. As it crossed the heliopause, it encountered a region of space that had never been explored by human-made objects before. This transition provided a unique opportunity to study the characteristics of the local interstellar medium and gain insights into the conditions that exist beyond our solar system. The data collected during this phase of the mission has helped scientists refine models of the interstellar environment and improve our understanding of the physical processes occurring in this distant region. Voyager 2's exploration of Uranus and Neptune was equally groundbreaking. The spacecraft's flybys of these ice giants revealed a wealth of information about their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and ring systems. For instance, Voyager 2's observations of Uranus' tilted magnetic field an unusual rotation provided new insights into the planet's internal structure and dynamo processes. Similarly, its flyby of Neptune uncovered the existence of a strong magnetic field and dynamic weather patterns, including the famous Great Dark Spot, a massive storm system in Neptune's atmosphere. The Voyager missions also made significant contributions to our understanding of planetary rings. Prior to these missions, rings were known only around Saturn. However, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 discovered rings around Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, expanding our knowledge of ring systems and their formation. These discoveries have led to new questions about the origins and evolution of planetary rings and their role in the broader context of planetary science. One of the most profound impacts of the Voyager missions is their role in the search for extraterrestrial life. The Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc included with each spacecraft, carries sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. The inclusion of greetings in 55 languages, music from various cultures, and a variety of natural sounds serves as a message to potential extraterrestrial civilizations. This message reflects humanity's desire to reach out and communicate with other intelligent beings, should they exist. The Golden Record also contains a selection of images representing various aspects of human life and achievements. These include diagrams of human anatomy, representations of our solar system, and depictions of scientific and technological advancements. The inclusion of this record was a symbolic gesture, representing humanity's curiosity and hope for a broader connection with the cosmos. In addition to their scientific contributions, the Voyager missions have had a profound cultural and philosophical impact. Carl Sagan's famous pale blue image, which shows Earth as a tiny speck in the vastness of space, has become an iconic symbol of our planet's fragility and our responsibility to protect it. This image has inspired countless individuals to appreciate the beauty and vulnerability of our world and has underscored the need for a unified effort to address global challenges. The legacy of the Voyager missions extends beyond their scientific and cultural achievements. They have inspired future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers to push the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration. The success of the Voyager spacecraft has demonstrated the value of long-term investment in space missions and the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that can emerge from such endeavors. Looking ahead, the data collected by the Voyager spacecraft will continue to be analyzed for years to come. Researchers will use this information to refine our models of the solar system, 
interstellar space, and cosmic phenomena. The ongoing analysis of Voyager data will likely lead to new insights and discoveries that enhance our understanding of the universe. The Voyager missions have also set the stage for future interstellar exploration. As technology advances, there may be new opportunities to send probes even farther into space, exploring regions of the galaxy that are currently beyond our reach. The success of the Voyager missions serves as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, and offers a model for future missions that seek to explore the unknown. In conclusion, the Voyager missions have left an indelible mark on our understanding of space. Their achievements extend far beyond the boundaries of our solar system and have provided valuable insights into the nature of the cosmos. As we continue to explore the universe, the legacy of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 will remain a beacon of human curiosity and exploration inspiring future generations to seek answers to the fundamental questions about our place in the universe.